Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made five different planter stand designs all out of three quarter inch plywood. I learned a lot while making these and how to make a couple modifications and adjustments along the way. I'm gonna show you all about it in today's video. Without further ado, let's get into the project. I've sketched out my five different planter sand designs and given myself a general idea of what the templates are gonna look like to assemble these into planter stands. I'm gonna draw them into a larger scale on this poster board and use that as my template. But next, I need to take some measurements of this planter pot, write them down so I know what our templates are gonna be sized at, and then we'll get to the next step. All right, I have most of my pieces cut down to size from the table saw. Now it's time to work on the first planter, which is gonna be the easiest, and then moving forward, we'll use a lot of the same techniques for the other planters. Let's get to it. Let's take a look at the first planter stand we're gonna be building today. It's a simple design with two pieces that connect together. All right, so I've transferred the template onto the wood. I've also just double checked all my lines with the square, make sure everything's good giving myself little indicators of what I need to cut out. There's so many ways to go about cutting out these portions. I'm gonna use my jigsaw to do it and clamp it down to the table, and I'm just gonna take it really slow so that I get nice and straight lines. Let's see how this turns out. I also just picked up a brand new set of blades so I get a nice clean cut, and I treated myself to a new jigsaw that's battery operated so that I don't get tangled up with the cords. I'm excited to cut this out, let's get to it. Nice. So for the first go around, it's not bad. It's got a tight joint. I'm pretty happy with it, but I was anticipating that I might not like this height. So I had cut an eight inch set. This one's six inch. So I'm gonna give it one more go, do another practice round so I can really lock this in. I'll use the same template, just kinda. But overall, boom. Happy with the first planter stand. Let's just make one more, master it, and then we'll move on to the second one. And definitely it's got a tighter fit. I'm really stoked on how well that comes together. Yeah, it's solid. Okay, cool. I have the two different sizes, six inch, eight inch. Let's make a second planter stand using the same technique, but I'm gonna do like an arc situation in here instead of a square. Let's take a look at planter stand design number two. Similar to the first planter stand with just a little bit of a modification with the rounded arc at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna use the same template and then I'm just gonna modify uh, the drawing on the actual wood. Planter stand number two is pretty much like one, but instead of having the square on the inside, we're gonna do a round and then where the two connect, it'll give like a cool little design, so let's cut this out. Got the first planter stand assembled, figured out. The second one cut, and let's put it together. Another good tight fit. I'm digging it. Okay, let's now make a third planter base. Planter stand design number three is a simple round circle with either three or four legs. This one was a simple one, and we're gonna incorporate some of these elements into the next planter stand. I think four would be overkill, so we're gonna do three. And if that gets too high, I can always chop the legs down, but I think I like that height. So originally, I was gonna wait till all of the planter stands were cut out to do the sanding, but I realized I actually need to sand this guy before I can actually assemble it. So I figured this is a perfect opportunity to talk about today's video sponsor while I do the nitty gritty sanding. Let's get to today's video sponsor and I'll get to sanding. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives with thousands of really cool classes to learn from. I recently learned from Sarah Buccini Mellows 
some really cool techniques from her botanical scene that she painted using watercolor and gouache. It was really cool to see her sketch out her design concept while sitting in a botanical garden. I'd never used gouache before, but it was really cool to add texture to the painting. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes, which is cool to experience real-time inspiration from popular teachers. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Now back to our project. The first three planter stands are sanded. Now I just need to measure out the equal distance between these three legs. Okay, so I'm gonna trace out these legs. Two holes for each. I'll drill those out and then we'll flip it over, drill the screws into the legs. Okay, cool. let's do it. I'll glue a little CA and an accelerator. That way they're in place, flip it over, then screw them in. Look at it. Oh, I'm really happy with that. It's even just like a cute little stool. Okay, I don't know that I would sit on it, but you know. Let's drill these in. You know, looking back with the glue and how strong these were, I probably could have gotten away with just doing one hole each. I was thinking I needed two so that it didn't, you know, move around. But now actually, <laughs> I could have just done three here, not done these outer ones, and then you wouldn't see it. But she's sturdy. Now I could sit on it or stand on it if I really needed to. There is planter stand number three. Oh, that's cute. With like a fun drapey plant. All right, I wanna revisit this planter stand design number three before we move on any further. I originally thought that four legs would be overkill, but now looking at it, I kinda think it needs to have four legs. Also, what I learned about drilling the holes on the top, I can get away with just doing the three in the center. So let's make one more of this design, but with a couple modifications, and then we'll continue on. Okay, got all the pieces cut back out. More legs, shorter. Let's lamb out, measure out the distance. All right, 2.0. Digging it with the four legs and a little shorter. I think it's super cute. Plus, now just having the holes a little bit tighter in. Boom! The planter pot covers it. That's definitely much better. I mean, I still like this one, don't get me wrong, but the upgrades, the improvements that we've made here, stoked on. Okay, now that we've finished off planter stand number three, let's move on to number four. This fourth planter stand design incorporates the very first design as well as adding that round circle from the third planter stand. Planter stand number four, I wanna make a larger version of this, but I don't wanna cut all this meat away. I wanna actually keep that. However, that's gonna be a very long straight line to actually line up to get these just right without having any gaps. So I think my best bet is to cut the grooves on the table saw and then just notch out the other part with my jigsaw. So I'm gonna lay that out and then we'll cut it on the table saw and then the rest on the jigsaw. I've drawn out the section that I need to cut out, giving myself a little indicator. So I'm gonna run this through the table saw, that through the table saw, and then just only to like right, right around here. Then I'll come in, I'll finish it off with the jigsaw, and then I'll come in with the jigsaw and cut that section out and that section. Fingers crossed that it all works. Let's try it. Made that a lot easier doing it on the table saw, and then I accounted for the, ooh, I think. Shoot, I actually think that went way too far. Oh no, Lindsay. Oh no, I think that went too far. Shoot. Yeah, it did go way too far. Oh man. I'm just gonna cut it out anyways and then see how bad it is. I mean, I've gone this far. Bummer. Well, the cut on the front was beautiful, but like I said, I didn't account for, I thought I accounted for the table saw, but I just didn't realize that much of the arc. But I still went forward with it, and boom. 
I don't know how, but you don't see it. You don't see that, that mistake and it's like perfect. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, I'm glad I didn't scrap it. All right, so I've got all the notches cut out. I can leave it just like this and put the planter in it. But, I mean, let's take it up a notch, cut a circle piece of wood out and put it in here, which gives it just a little height. I've made a little template and made sure that it fits in here with just a little play. So let's cut this out of wood, put it in here, sand it, and then this one's done. And we'll move on to planter stand number five. Wood circle inside the planter stand. Yeah, I think this is cute, I like it. And then, boom. I still think it's a little high, so maybe I could either cut this down or I make a second one that's a little shorter, then you get to see the two different sizes. Here I am making now 10 planters. But I've learned a couple different things with this one, so let's make another one, a little shorter. Looking good, planter stand number four. I'm proud of this. I like the little shorter version, but it's kind of fun to see them stacked next to each other. Boom, plant on top. We're looking good. Let's move on to plant stand number five. The fifth and final planter stand design is definitely a little bit more advanced than the first couple planter stands, but still simple and easy to do. Let's get to it. So keeping with the circle theme, Let's cut out two circles, a little bit larger, and normally I would do something like with dowels to connect it, but since we're doing all plywood, I cut some strip of the three quarter inch plywood in three quarter inch, so that way it's square. So I'll use the outside grain, I'll space them out. We'll cut two circles. One will have a hole on the inside, boom and then I'll connect it together like this. I'll make some kind of fun little nubby legs. And then we've gone through all the different designs. Back to the bowl template. All right, so I want around a little bit of a gap, then I want three quarter inches so that I can do these guys around the outside and then I'll slip on the inside. So that's eight inches, which is this size bowl. So we'll just boom, use this to trace out our template. Okay, but then I need a center circle that's gonna fit this guy. Um, okay, after multiple bowls and trying to figure out the washers and all of that, I figured out the right circumference that I need to cut out. That'll also give me enough play to get the planter in, but also give enough play for my wood. circle, same size, one with another hole in the center. Now I just need to figure out the height. <laughs> oh, that was to be expected, I guess. Wow. All right, I figured out how many of the little connector pieces I'm gonna need. Now I just need to sand all of these and then after seeing how well that CA glue worked, I think I'm just gonna CA glue all these together and then I'll use a brad nailer to fasten them. So let's get to sanding and then assembly. I was gonna measure it out, but you know what? I think I could just eyeball it and make little marks. I think that's gonna be my best bet. I'm gonna flip it, secure it to the top from the underneath with the CA glue and the accelerator, and then I'll attach the bottom and I'll brad nail that portion. Then we'll cut some little feet to give it a little riser, and then we're done. I'm glad I went with using the CA glue and the accelerator, because this thing is just sturdy. Now I need to attach it to the base. I wood glue it, and then I'm gonna go around, brad nail it, and if I need to maneuver any of them, I can do it before I brad nail it. So that way they're all flush. So that's, that's the game plan. All right, let's get to uh, finishing this one off. All right, it's looking good. Since this is the bottom, I'm not gonna worry about filling that. I'm just gonna leave it. But I do wanna make some little feet to kind of rise this up. 
four cute little feet. All right. I don't like that rock. I have to fix those little legs. Hmm. Okay, well, let me fix the legs and then I might actually might make a second one. I have a bunch of these already cut down, so all I would have to do is cut two more circles. So that way this sits up just a little bit, so you have like a lip to grab it. One more? Total of 10 planters? Why not? Let's do it. Got a second one cut out. This time I've gotten a little shorter, so that that'll give a little bit of a lip and it'll make it easier to get the planter in and out. So let's do the same thing, glue all of this up and make a couple new feet. I'll definitely make the right angle this time for them and then we're done. I cut a new set of feet out for both of these because they needed the right angle. Now that we're looking good, I have my two sets, it's time to glue them on. Okay, both feet are on, boom. I had a little bit of rockiness so I just took some sandpaper. Bop, got rid of that. Looking good. I mean, I really like both of them. However, I mean, that obviously is kind of a pain. That is a lot easier to be able to ah, get out because obviously there's going to be a plant. But I'm happy with it. So, plant sand number five complete. And now we got to decide are we going to stain a couple of them or just leave them raw wood? They look great. I could even just seal them so you could see the wood grain, which would be great. Well, there you have it, friends. Five different planter stand designs, all from three quarter inch plywood. I'm really excited on how they turned out. I love them, and I learned a lot along the way. Had to make a couple of modifications and adjustments, but I sure hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something as well. I'd love to see if you build your own planter stands. Be sure to tag me. But until next time, friends, have a rad day, and we'll see you around. Big thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video.